have to help him! Knife! Behind! Oh no. Ah! We killed our friend! We have to revenge! Yes. And I know how. How? What are you doing? Did you think Carl would hide you? Say your last words! What is that sound? Stop it! Time's up. Go, go, go! Catch it! Take this! Loser! this little thing. Don't rush, my friend. Run for cover. Are you cold? I'll warm you up! Get out of here! What the... Oh my god. Thank you! No problem. Put it down. Here? Yeah, good. What? This is your end. <laughs> Hello, guys. The new 10th episode of the Multiverse of the Ski Beady Toilet has come out. I thought it necessary to do an analysis on it. After all, it is incredibly epic and exciting video. Prepare tea and snacks, we are starting. And so, the episode begins in the midst of a battle. We see a confrontation in which cameraman wins an obvious defeat. We need to save him. We throw a time grenade that stops the enemy for five seconds. This time, turned out to be quite enough for the cameraman to be able to neutralize the enemy and thereby save his life. But not for long. The battles continued until TVW women and clockmen entered the game. The clockmen stopped time, which helped to neutralize all the toilet squibs around. The cameramen went on the attack. They had very little time, so everything had to be done very quickly. Everything was going well. We almost reached the shelter, but suddenly an infected Titan cameraman flew in, which almost killed us. But a second before the shot, the Titan speakerman saved us, flying up to the cameraman's back. He began to look for the virus embedded in him. But the attempt ended in failure, and cameraman shot at the speakerman with guns that were on his back all the time. The game includes a character that we met quite recently, or rather, in the last ninth series. Drillman grabs cameraman's legs in order to neutralize him while the speakerman searches for the virus inside his neck. But this time, it didn't work out. The cameraman pushed the speakerman away and began to fly away. But it was not there. Drillman caught the flying cameraman with the help of hooks and hit him hard on the ground. I think it hurt. 
As long as our infected friend is neutralized, we have a chance to hide. But even here, the enemy is waiting for us. The ski beady welder comes out from behind the back of the stricken clockman and starts burning one of the cameramen. We urgently need to save him. The speaker is coming to the rescue, but she can't do anything. The skibidi welder starts to burn it, when suddenly something very fast flies by and grabs the speaker from the pincers of the skibidi welder. We see two plungers hiding right in the welder's skin, which causes him to be covered with ice. While the enemy is at a loss, help has already arrived. Control shots are fired at the welder's skibidi, and his life ends there. And here he is, our hero. It was our longtime friend, Plungerman, on his hyper-fast toilet. And so, our main goal is to help Clockman come to his senses. Quite a lot of characters gather to help him, and everything seems to be going well. But at some point, everything collapsed abruptly, and a magnetic skibidi toilet appeared above us, which poses a huge threat to all of us. Do you think Titan Speakerman and Drillman will help us in this situation? Write your opinion in the comments. Well, that's it for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I will be very pleased. See you.